Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fully install CMU version 1.7.5 and transfer all your folders over from 1.7.4 if you need to do so. The first thing you want to do is click on your desktop and create a new folder. Let's call it CMU. Open up this folder and drag your zip file for CMU 1.7.5 and extract it here. Once CMU is extracted, you can move this folder back out to your desktop. After this step, you want to bring your CMU hook zip file down here and also extract it here. Once extracted, you can also move this back to your desktop. You can delete this file. The next thing you're going to want to do is open up your CMU 1.7.4. The files you want from here are going to be your shader cache folders from your transferable. Copy and paste those and transfer them over. The next thing you're going to want to do is come into your MLC folder in your CMU 1.7.4 folder Delete them in your 1.7.5 folder and copy and paste them across. And this may take some time as there are a lot of files in here. Now that we've transferred over our saves, our system data and our user data, all we need to do is get the graphics packs. Copy and paste once again your graphic packs across. The next thing you want to do is make sure that your NVIDIA control panel settings are set up properly. Come to Manage 3D Settings and come across the program settings. Find your CMU.exe and scroll down. Make sure that it's set to single display performance mode, prefer maximum performance and set shader cache to on and click apply. The next thing that you want to do is come to your shader cache folder and make sure that the only folder available here is the transferable one. After this, we go to our OS drive, users, your name, app data, roaming, and find the NVIDIA folder. You want to find the folder which has this file in it and delete both of those. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's now launch our CMU. As you can see, it's CMU version 1.7.5. The next thing you want to do is go into your settings, set GPU buffer cache to low, and load your game. Once in game, we want to set up our input settings. I'm going to be using the Wii U gamepad, so I'm going to set it up now. Click save once you have all these buttons mapped. The next thing we're going to do is load in game and see what the performance differences are. As you can see, all of our saved data was transferred over from CMU 1.7.4. Upon loading into Kakariko Village, you will see almost instantly that the performance in CMU 1.7.5 is much, much better, with a smooth, almost locked 30 FPS at all times. Cheers for checking out the video, guys. Remember to like it if you liked it, 
dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel for all future videos from me.